Welcome to this episode of Showcase Wedding. I'm your host, Rebecca Martell. Have you started planning your wedding or do you think you're almost done? There's always something extra to add. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to business owners that can help give you a unique twist. Now the wedding day is not all about the dress, but it's definitely a big part. And today I get to introduce you to Mika from Bridal Bazaar, a new store here in Westmount. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting me. Tell me all about your store. Uh, the store is, uh, the concept is to help to everybody to get dressed for the big day. So we try to provide as much as we can with the wedding gowns, the evening, the veils, the, the accessories and also we have a couple of evening dresses. So they can go in there and they can browse around and they can see all the different designers. What designers do you have? We have uh, five designers. Uh, the most famous and known here in uh, Canada is Posa Italia. There is a dress as Kelly. There is a, a, another designer uh, named David Emmanuel, which is the designer for Princess Diana. And we have also uh, high-end dresses from international designer. As well, so you can go with the classic or you can look for something that's more red carpet almost. Yes. That's wonderful. And like you said, the concept is a little different. Like you have beautiful wedding gowns that you've worn today. Something you would expect to pay three, four, five thousand dollars, but in your store it's much less. The, this is the, the really the deal because people when come in the store they think that is something not affordable but we make it affordable. And why are you able to do that? Why can you make it affordable? Just to make people happy and to help them. <laughs> I understand though that some of the dresses are from the designer directly. It's a sample dress or maybe even used once on a photo shoot. Yeah, we used a couple of them uh, for production for a wedding magazine. But these dresses are brand new. They mm -hmm. are used only one time. Mm -hmm. So who knows where they've been seen before, exactly. which is awesome. Exactly. And, uh, and uh, because they're a smaller store and fewer designers, you have limited sizes. Yes. This is true and it's much better uh, the interested bride to come and to try because the, the dress can be not the dress that they told will be the best one. So it's necessary to try. Because mm -hmm, you can't order another one. Tell me about that. Should a bride be making an appointment with you to come in? It's much better. So uh, they will see what is the phone number. The location is very uh, easy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Westmount and it's near to Atwater's square mm -hmm. so it's very easy to come. And should she be bringing a few people with her or just come herself? Let's say that it's much better to be with people that she are reliable for her because uh, this is a big decision and not everybody is so... Um, it's good to have one or two people yeah, just it's, get an idea. It's like uh, the family, they need the support from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when they come in, is there certain things they should be bringing, wearing, not wearing? So the first thing, the uh, it's necessary to bring the shoes. Mm. If it's not the shoes for the wedding, it should be similar. Because with the wedding gown and with the shoes, it's, yeah, with it's the right completely pair of heels, different. You definitely yeah, change. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that uh, is better is to not have makeup. Okay, don't because put on a full they face. can damage the dresses. Mm, that's right. We want to think ahead for the other yeah, girls. Yeah. And I assume also your undergarments, what you're going to wear the day of, would be good to bring. Uh, yeah, and it's much better to be something natural color mm -hmm. because we don't know. We have white dresses, we have a beige dresses, mm -hmm. ivory dresses, and if you have something natural, it will not Blend be in. a problem. Mm, it doesn't distract. Yeah. Exactly. That's wonderful. So they've made their appointment, they've come in, they've tried on. So it's almost like you're waiting for a Cinderella to come to slip into the perfect dress, isn't it? Yes, uh, the idea is to 
make dreams come true? Mm, definitely. And with those prices, you can. They don't have to compromise. What's the highest dress that you have there? The highest price dress? The highest is uh, $9.99. Oh. Everything go below, below that. Uh, yeah, below that. And again, it's just, it's only because it's been used once or it's been on a magazine. And, yes. and some of the international um, designers you have, I understand you have Ivan Cohen. Yeah. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's uh, like high fashion. Very high fashion. Very, couture, Very high yeah. fashion, yes. And uh, it's necessary to come and to see maybe this is the type, really the type that they need. Mm -hmm. It depends mm -hmm. what is the shape of the, uh, of the body. Because some of the other stores, they have like a, a medium size, and that's really hard for someone that's a lot smaller in size to try on. They can't imagine themselves. Whereas your store has that. We have, we have variety of sizes, so it's not necessary uh, to be like very tiny mm -hmm. or to be some specific si mm -hmm. uh, size. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, depending on the dress, can be different sizes mm -hmm. also. Tell me about that. When somebody comes in, you, you check their body type, their body shape, what they're looking for, and how does that help you help them? The first thing that we do is to ask what is the dream dress. Mm. After that, we start analyzing. Is it the dress that they need? Or maybe there is something else that will show them better than... Because mm. the girls like to see in internet uh, amazing things, but these amazing things are on amazing bodies. Mm -hmm. So no, I've, not everybody is a model. Mm. So it needs to translate into... Exactly. How often does that happen? Someone comes in and thinks they're going with one style, and then they change. Let's say 50% of the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But they don't leave um, unhappy. No, 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 they are happy. Uh, Either they bought the dress that they want, either they know what they need. Mm. Because sometimes uh, the brides don't know exactly what they need. No. As a style, as a color, as a shape, everything. Mm, yeah. Wonderful. And I'm so glad you have a team there that can help out with yeah. that. Yeah. Answer I all those questions. A very, very uh, like a helpful uh, assistant. Ah, good. So when you make your appointment, she's going to be there, she's going to be getting... I know when I went to try on, she was there helping me in, helping me out, helping me pin. She knew what could fit, so... Mm, exactly. I agree exactly. with you. And then for the complete look, tell me what else that you have there in store to finish off we the look. We have veils, we have tiaras, we have a, a store, jewelry store, just next to our store oh. for uh, for jewelry, for uh, everything that will match to the dress. Ah, that'll make it the complete look. Exactly. And that does make a difference. Once they put the veil on you, it really can change everything. Yeah, the veil is the final touch. It is. Mm -hmm. yes. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for coming in you studio. You're really welcome. Thank you. When you're ready to start trying on dresses yourself, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for Bridal Bazaar, and book your appointment. Now I get to introduce you to Pamela from Glam Invite. She is going to show you her absolutely stunning, one-of-a-kind invitations that you can send out to your friends and family. And I mean they are absolutely different from what you have seen before. Thank you so much for being here in studio. Thank you for receiving me again. Now again, I want to tell everyone just how different your invitations are. Please tell me a little bit about them. So uh, in, at Glam Invite, we work with all the materials, all the printing techniques. Uh, we've been in business for 10 years, nine years, going on our 10th yeah. in November 2018. And so we specialized in meeting the client's needs. And by meeting the client's needs, every client had a different need. You know, some wanted some plexi, some wanted to print on mirrors, some others wanted to engrave wood. So it's not just paper. It's not a paper and an envelope to show up. It's like you said, it starts the wedding. It starts yeah. the excitement. Yeah. Um, we take every client as an event. So it's not a wedding invitation. It's not a paper that everybody throws in the garbage because some of the clients say that when they come to see us. They say, oh, it's not important, you know. Uh, my uh, guests are going to just 
read the invitation and throw it in the garbage. Not but... these ones, not these <laughs> ones, no. Uh, but the invitation is more than the material we choose. It's also the message we want to send to our guests because by reading the invitation, let's say you invite me to a castle, right? And I work in the business. So by reading the name of the venue, I know what to expect as a dinner, as an event, as mm. decorations. I also know how much you spent your time looking for this venue, how much money you spent on it, how detailed you went out of your way for us. So I know what to expect. But when a guest receives an invitation and doesn't work in the, in the industry, they don't really know the difference between a restaurant and a reception hall and a castle. So the invitation is gonna tell them exactly what they're, where they're going, it's gonna tell them what to expect, and it's also gonna, um, sh like, it's gonna tell them how to dress, it's well, going to open the storybook, yes, exactly, isn't it? exactly. Exactly. If you send out a paper, a printed paper, you know, front and back, it's not the same as if you send a stainless steel invitation, if mm. you send a mirror invitation, an engraved wood invitation, yeah. So it's an event. It's not only an invitation like that. Now, that being said, when they start to see all the pieces and they start falling in love, how do you help them narrow down what would be best for them? Uh, we help them with experience, knowledge, and technology also. So we hear their needs. We ask them about the colors. We ask them about the theme because it's not only colors and pearls or colors and crystal. It's the whole theme mm. that how do they want to feel? Do, do they want to feel during that day? Mm. And then we walk them through, just like when we meet somebody to create their business uh, branding. It's exactly the same way that we receive the clients and we talk to them, whether it's on the phone, through our website, or in our office if they need to be reassured and have a, a specific consultation with someone. So because you are a business that's online, mostly, where they can see and start to set up, why did you have a few locations where they could meet? Uh, because it's very hard to buy online. You cannot touch and feel the product. It looks good on pictures. You know, Photoshop does miracles mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. and invitations. Um, and it might look good on the screen, but then when you receive it at home, you're so disappointed because it's like, instead of being cardstock, it's paper. Instead of being glitter, it's matte. So you don't really know what to expect. So before building the website for our clients, as I told you, we were in business for nine years. So we met those clients in our office. We know their needs. We know that they're scared buying on internet. We also received customers coming with, they bought on, you know, Previous other sites, made the mistake. Yeah. yeah. And then they received them and then they don't know what to do with them and they like they already spent the money so they want to know if we can do something to uh, recuperate the, the, the order. Yeah. Mm. So you are very big on your customer service. Yes. And that's the experience yes. as well as just your passion. Yes, we love our clients and we understand the, the stress they go through because not everybody's a wedding planner and even if you hire a wedding planner, she's not in your shoes, she's not in your emotions, mm. she's not in your body, mm. she's not in your stress. Mm. So, and we understand that. Like our brides and grooms also, some are nervous, some are stressed, some are insecure, and we take the time, like there's no limited time, hello, uh, thank you for reaching Glam Invite, we have five minutes and a half together, none of that, yeah. we respond to the questions, we take appointments, and we're there for them. And who are they meeting with? Who are they really getting in touch with? Uh, we have a customer care service. Um, when they meet at the office, they're going to be meeting with me. Mm, but that's uh, it's, a, it's a special <laughs> consultation if they ask for it. Otherwise, if they go through the website, they're going to be talking to one of our rep, uh, either by email, by chat, by phone. They can call us, schedule an appointment, and we walk them through if they need a Skype, a FaceTime, a WhatsApp video. We'll do it too so we can show them the material. Yeah. And like you said, it's really building. It's starting off with the story, meaning of the graphic. Take me through all those steps. So the story is the love story. It <laughs> starts from the love story. The couples are happy uh, to get married. Uh, they are also stressed about uh, how heavy it is to prepare a wedding. So we help them choosing the right design for them. We guide them. You know, like let's say they have a... Um, rustic wedding and they're looking at a crystal elegant wedding invitation oh. we're gonna guide them we're gonna tell them okay maybe we should be looking this way more in the wood you said exactly or, or not only the wood but the, the paper the, the the color the quality is it gonna be matte is it gonna be shining there's our Rebecca 
so many options and I am sure that we didn't even discover all of them. Because we're advancing and you know, we're always gonna have new materials coming out. Um, so we help them choosing the style and then we're gonna help them writing their text because we have examples, because we can also ask them, you know, who's inviting? Are you inviting your parents, the family, yeah. you know? How much and to add to the invitation. That's true, we're not used to writing all these formal letters. Exactly, yeah. also the response cards. Do you need a response card or not? Because sometimes if you wanna cut down on cost, you can, just have an email or something. Uh, website. website. Now it's websites. Yeah, websites. Mm -hmm. And are you going to invite or not the children? Are you having a menu choice? You know, all those things. When you start building up your wedding invitation, you don't know that it involves all of those questions. But you do. And you're yes, going to help of course. Them. And we walk them through it. You know, I had a call yesterday from a client. And she, what, what do I do after placing my order? After I click on pay, and I pay, what, what happens, you know? And I reassured her and we said like, it's okay, you're gonna receive an email, we're gonna ask you for specific things to send us. If you don't know how to, we're gonna walk you through it. It's fine, don't worry, don't stress. And this is how we do it. We choose the colors, the fonts, the design, the graphic design, and we, it's not about the model, it's about like the invitation has to talk, the invitation has to speak for the event mm. and for the brides and grooms too because if you're getting married, I'm not. we're not gonna design the same invitation as if your sister is getting married. It's two different personalities. So Pamela, before you go, I understand you've brought a few special gems that people can't find on the website yet. Yet. What are they? Uh, so here we have the box invitations. We have the stainless steel invitation that we are the only ones carrying right now. They are, they are gorgeous. They yeah. have to be seen and touched. Yeah. yeah, and they come in different colors, black, white, rose gold, gold and silver, and different shapes, different models. This is all customizable. Mm. And then we have the plexi, the clear ones, and we have the wood invitations also. Definitely something that's going to be kept forever. It's going to be passed on and showed to everybody. So, well, thank you, Pamela, for coming back in and showing us your beautiful invitations. Thank you for receiving me again, Rebecca. When you're ready to start creating beautiful invitations for your wedding day, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website and click on the link for Glam Invite. We met in high school. Um, both of our brothers were friends. My brother lent her brother something and um, couldn't reach my brother, so he gave it to her, knowing that uh, I was in the same high school as her. So one day she came up to me and said, hey, um, this is this belongs to your brother. And from then on then, um, I added her on Facebook, on MSN Messenger back in the day. Um, we started chatting on and off, and um, it came, it just clicked. We just, we just started dating after six months. We didn't want to take it a rush. I wanted to make sure she was the one. And uh, it just, just started from there. I knew she was the one it, since the beginning. It was love at first sight. It was very, very love at the first sight. She, she's been there through my ups and downs um, most of the time. And from then on, I, I was like, you know what? She, she's, she's amazing to me. She's absolutely amazing to me. So that's when I, I knew she was the one for me. Her family is, uh, is very old school Italian. So I, uh, I brought her dad out for breakfast to ask for my blessings to uh, go ahead and propose to her daughter and you know marry her. And uh, it started off by me getting flowers in the day, surprising her at work with the flowers. She was, she was a bit, uh, you know, she, I think she had an idea what was going on, but uh, I brought her to uh, Mount Royal. She, she never went there before. I thought it was a very, very sentimental place to go ahead and uh, propose to her. I did, I went on my knees, of course. I popped the question. I had a very vague, you know, um, proposal to her. It was extremely cold. It was November 18th. I remember the exact date, and it was 7 o'clock at night. It was, the weather was horrible. So we were just shivering, and after as soon as I popped the question, we just left. We went off for supper, and uh, and yeah, it was that's that's how I proposed to her. And I said yes. I now have the pleasure of introducing you to Isabelle Joubert from Visabel MD. Now I'm sure you might have had some concerns or questions about your skin, and I know she's going to have the answers for you. Thank you so much, Isabel, for being here. Thank you very much for having me. Give me some background on your company. Visibel Med was created uh, just under two years ago after having worked in the field of dermatology plastic surgery. Uh, I decided I needed a new challenge. I'm a certified aesthetic nurse specialist and decided to open this clinic of non-surgical cosmetic services uh, with Dr. Remy Shahadi. Now what challenges have you seen from going from not surgical to non-surgical? Um, I mean there's no par uh, challenge in particular. For sure there are some people that you know, their concerns can clearly only be corrected with surgery. Uh, but there's many, many non-surgical options now in terms of 
body contouring or giving someone a little bit more of a refreshed, more youthful look to the face. Tell me about that. Tell me about a few of the services that you offer at your... Uh, we do offer a full range of dermal fillers, Botox treatments, body contouring treatments, fat reduction, as well as uh, skin care and sun damage. So looking good is absolutely for everybody, men, women, all ages. Tell me about the clientele that come to see you. Absolutely. Um, the clientele that we tend to see in our clinic it range from the age of 25 to about 65. That's the average age. Uh, a lot of women between 25 and 35 are looking to address very early signs of aging or they're looking for prevention. They're a lot more educated today on prevention of aging. Um, and women usually 35 and up are starting to want to treat some signs or more severe signs of aging that they're starting to notice or changes in their body um, that they're noticing. And some of these treatments can take a lot longer than two weeks before and you think everything's going to be fixed. So how far in advance for the wedding day and the photo should they be coming to you? So if a bride is looking to look more refreshed or has some skin issues or anti-aging concerns that she would like to address, ideally I do recommend that they come in at least six months pre-wedding. Um, a lot of concerns may be addressed really quickly, but some concerns do take several months to address. Some of these treatments do have downtime to them, so these are all things that need to be evaluated in a consultation. Hmm. So like you said, it's not just about anti-aging, it's also about skin issues. You can help people with that. Absolutely. Patients who do suffer from acne, blemishes, uh, you know, sunspots, redness in their skin, there's many things and, that we can offer them. So you've informed everybody that they should be coming to see you well in advance, you can make sure that the procedure is right, everything's going well, but what happens if they panic and they come to see you too close to the wedding day? How could that go wrong? So there are treatments that really have no downtime, but reactions are always possible to these treatments. So it's not really recommended to come two weeks prior to a wedding. Uh, often treatments take some time to see results as well. Mm. and. You know, we can't always guarantee exactly what type of results we're going to see from the treatment. So don't expect a quick, quick fix, but definitely get ready for the Absolutely. Big day. Mm. What are some other misconceptions people would have about your business? Uh, you know, a lot of people think, oh my goodness, you know, oh, I'll look fake with Botox or I would, you know, never have a laser treatment to my face. Uh, I think, you know, what we do at Visible Med is we really pride ourselves on educating our patients, moving forward on how they can prevent aging, how they can turn back the clock. And we sit down with them during a consultation and really establish an entire treatment plan, uh, which is really well explained and well detailed. And then it's up to them if they want to choose to go a certain route. Um, so it's all about them. When you said you sit with them, it's about how long? It's about 45 minutes. So you're really going through what's best for them, what results they want. Absolutely. Um, basically, the, the procedure they, they may require, uh, what's involved in terms of the risks, uh, the pos potential outcome. The benefits. And the benefits, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so there's that entire process that we do go through. So for the patients that you've already seen and helped, what feedback have you received? Our patients. Um, I think really appreciate the fact that we're there to educate them and not sell to them. Um, I have a staff that's extremely knowledgeable and experienced in the treatments that they do deliver. So I think people feel confident with us um, and they do get the results and we never overpromise. Uh, we're very realistic in terms of delivering natural results. Uh, last Isabel, tell me what do you find most rewarding about what you do? Uh, I mean, I do consider my job not to be a job. I'm extremely passionate about what I do. Um, I continue to be educated in my field. It's a forever growing field. There are new things coming out. Um, I, I, I love to learn and be able to teach and deliver new things to my patients. Um, and just the fact that women and men come into our clinic and we can help them feel and look better about themselves. You're really, you're helping them with their confidence, not just their look. Which Absolutely. Is you know, sometimes it's just a small touch to just make someone feel happy again when they look in the mirror. Which is going to help with that big day. Yes. Well, I want to thank you, Isabel, so much for coming in studio today. Thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure. When you're ready to start looking your best, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website and click on the link for visibilemed.ca. So, hi. My name is Dory. I work for myself at Focus by Dory and I've been doing this for about 15 years. 
So today we're doing a shoot for Showcase Wedding and we're actually here at the Ritz-Carlton. So as you can see, this is a pretty impressive room. So we started off today in the Oval Room. Our goal today was to capture um, some wedding dresses and then some evening wear as well. So this room was actually pretty good. It has a pretty good presence. And we wanted to capture the beauty of the chandelier that's right above me as well, the entrance, uh, everything that's behind me and around me. So I try to see if I can capture the mood of this room and to really single out that feeling with a wedding dress. You know, that feeling of just twirling around, being happy. Uh, we had a gorgeous flower, flower girl as well here today. Um, it was adorable shooting with her as well, with Maya. Uh, so we have a couple of pictures with her as well. We set up a table shot, did some stuff there. Uh, we've done a couple shots also by the tea room. So the tea room obviously has a lot of character. So we try to do some fashion shots there, some conversations between a bride and a flower girl, which is always beautiful to see. Uh, we worked as well as uh, some staircase shots. One of my favorite places actually was the dining room actually. Uh, dining room has a gorgeous fireplace, gorgeous pieces. Uh, there's a wall there with uh, Marilyn Monroe with a couple of shots of her. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Tried a technique uh, that I've seen actually that's pretty cool. So try that there. And that gives the illusion or the feeling of a bride walking through, but yet still keeps that anonymity so that anyone watching it can basically imagine or picture themselves in there. Uh, so the gowns that were used today were very classy, very elegant. Uh, just perfect match for the Ritz, I find. And then we also used one of the master suites or the bridal suites, actually and did a couple of shots there too. Beautiful rooms, uh, lots of space to be used. And uh, what I really liked about those rooms is the lighting. So I took advantage of that and wanted to use that lighting just coming right in and then having her stand there with a beautiful evening gown. Uh, but that, uh, that room, those shots uh, were, were a lot of fun. We try to get a bit creative too with the bathtub too and do some funky shots, a bit more Vogue in there. So that was a lot of fun. Um, so that was for the master suites, uh, did a couple shots there. And the staircase, uh, some shots just outdoors actually. Uh, the outdoor shots are pretty fun. It's, uh, I wanted to convey that feeling of freedom, that feeling of carelessness, of care, being carefree actually. And that's just to run out, you know, just live that dream of your wedding day, live that dream of being a princess. So that's what I try to capture as much as I could on the way out of this room. So that was actually pretty, um, pretty beautiful, pretty good. For, if, I, if I were to go back and the shots that I'm looking at the most, I'm looking forward to working the most, my favorite shots of the day, I would have to say one in the oval room. I really like the candelabras, the displays they have on the wall. So there was this one shot I did uh, between the bride and the flower girl, and they were framed just perfectly well framed with the candelabra. Uh, there was also a couple of makeup shots. Uh, up in the grand suite, the shot by the window with the light coming in and the evening gown is one of my favorites. And I would say one of the carefree shots running out of the oval, uh, oval room is actually another one that I really like. So those shots I think are my top ones. Well, I also want to thank Showcase Wedding and the Ritz Carlton for letting us use this gorgeous venue. Absolutely a dream to shoot in. Lots of gorgeous spaces, perfect for a photographer to come here. Uh, and obviously to giving us, uh, for giving us the opportunity to come up with a perfect shot for the cover of the magazine. So thank you very much again. And now, off back to my studio to process these images. I can't wait for you to see them, and especially to see the cover of the magazine. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Showcase Wedding. I'm your host, Rebecca Martel. If you have a love story or a funny moment that you want to share with us, or perhaps you're a business owner that wants to be featured on our next episode, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website to find all the information you need. And to all the newly engaged brides and grooms out there, we want to wish you felicitations, congratulations, mazel tov.